Yes. Okay, here we go. The book begins with the stereotypical statement that there is a truth well known that a single man with money must want a wife. This is followed up by the introduction of the better family and their eager anticipation to meet Mr. Pingley and go to his ball. Their intentions of meeting a possible husband quickly explains the purpose of the text. Jane Austen is trying to make a mockery of the way things were done in her time by overemphasizing the importance of marriage to the people of her time. Mrs. Bennet tells Jane to go to the Bingley's by horse instead of coach because she knew that it would rain and she would have to spend the night. Surprisingly, her plan works too well, and Jane follows ill and is forced to spend the only night but longer. Elizabeth comes to visit Jane to see that she is getting better, but is forced to walk, which results in her arriving not only wet but muddy. This brings us another important theme in the book, social class and image. Bingley's sisters look down at Elizabeth, not only because she has arrived all muddy, but also due to a slight class difference between them. During this time, Darcy and Elizabeth got to know each other more as Darcy revealed his prideful beliefs. Wickham is introduced. Elizabeth and him immediately develop feelings for each other. Elizabeth then discovers Wickham is a lying manipulator and dumps him. Bingley and Darcy leave Netherfield. Bingley leaves without saying farewell to Jane. Darcy begins to become attracted to Elizabeth. Mr. Collins comes into the picture and swiftly proposes to Elizabeth. Mummy gets grumpy when she declines. Charlotte then takes up the proposal from Collins. Elizabeth then travels to see Collins and Charlotte and meets Lady de Burgh, who is a grumpy old lady who likes to get things their way. Elizabeth goes for a holiday with Arnie and Uncle Gardner. They visit Pembley one day and hear of another side of Darcy from the housekeeper. Then Mr. Darcy appears and proposes. Elizabeth turns him down. Mr. Darcy says, In vain I have struggled. It will not do. My feelings will not be repressed. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. And then later he proposes again. The same result. Lydia then runs off with Wiggum. Foolish girl. Lady de Burgh threatens Elizabeth after worrying about Darcy's proposals. Billy comes back to Jane, does propose, and Elizabeth says yes. Elizabeth, once again I must try. Will you marry me? Yes. Eureka! The end.